This is the DBBR218, a powerful mainline diesel locomotive built in the 60s for Deutsche Bundesbahn. Climb on board to learn how to set up and drive this iconic locomotive. We need to start the diesel engine now. To do so, use the engine group 1 switch. Set and hold the switch in start until the engine is running. Before we can start to move, we need to set the reverser to forwards, release the train brake and switch on the transmission power. The throttle in this locomotive needs to be used carefully. Firstly, we have to fill the transmission with oil by setting the throttle into notch 2 for a few seconds. You will see the transmission indicator light up. Wait for it to be unlit again. Now, with oil filled into the transmission's first converter, we can throttle up over a few steps to the full power of the diesel engine. But not too fast, or the transmission could be damaged. As we have now reached our targeted speed, we can reduce the power to coast and save diesel fuel. But we need to run down the diesel engine before the power can be cut completely. The diesel engines 
RPM is now reduced and it is safe to cut off the power by setting the throttle wheel back to zero. The transmission indicator will light up again for a moment which indicates the transmission oil draining procedure. As the fourth and final main variant of the V160 locomotive family, the DPBR218 was the pinnacle of the 1960s diesel hydraulic technology and would serve under the Deutsche Bundesbahn as a universal freight and passenger locomotive. With almost 400 produced, the 218 became well known across Germany, being suited to almost any work thanks to its 140 km per hour top speed, onboard electrical heating and ability to work in multiple for tackling heavier tasks. Now make your way to the next station where you need to stop and board passengers. This locomotive is equipped with two brake systems, the standard gradual air brake and a hydrodynamic brake. Under normal operation they are coupled together but you can use them independently. As we now approach our next stop we will use the train brake lever. The hydrodynamic brake lever will move with it automatically. Set the train brake to minimum or two to gently bring our train to a halt.
Excellent. You are now able to operate this locomotive. Get your 218 journey started.